boys and girls. Today we are going to read the big book, Biblioboro, a true story from Columbia. Okay, so you can see from the cover of the photo that life is probably a little different there than our life. Okay, riding on donkeys. Okay, and it looks like the donkey might be carrying some books. All right, let me show you this picture first. Here. Deep in the jungles of Colombia, there lives a man who loves books. His name is Louise. That must be Louise. As soon as he reads one book, he brings home another. Soon the house is filled with books. His wife, Diana, grumbles. Like how the house there is full of books. What are we going to do? Eat books with our rice? Lewis thinks long and hard. At last, an idea pops into his head. Hmm. Oh, there's the idea bubble going over here. I can bring my books into the faraway hills to share with those who have none. One burrow could carry books, and another burrow could carry me and more books. Oh, well, that's where the burrows come in. Louise buys two sturdy little burrows. He names them Alpha and Beta. Beto, excuse me. He builds crates to hang on their backs and paints signs. Biblio Burrow, the bureau, the burrow library. Excuse me, I'm tongue twisted. Then Diana fills the crates with books. So there's his wife filling them. Every week, Louise and Alpha and Beto set off across the countryside to faraway villages in the lonely hills. There's his wife waving. Here he goes. Oh, he's reading along the way. That burrow must be able to know where he's going. This week, they travel to El Tormento. When the sun burns high in the sky, Louise and the burrow stop at a stream to drink the cool water. After they have their fill, Beto balks. Louise pulls and pulls on Beto's reins, but Beto won't budge. At last, the burrow gives in and steps across the stream. Okay, and the little speech bubble coming from Louise's mouth. The children are waiting for us, he's telling him. Deep in the hills, the path is lonelier than ever. Bird songs are the only sounds they hear. Then from deep in the shadows, a bandit leaps out. Oh, there's the bandit. Okay, his speech bubble says, give me your silver. Please let us pass, Louis says. The children are waiting. The bandit scowls at the books, but he takes one and growls. Next time I want silver. going and walking down. Oh, here's the children. Look how excited they look. The Biblio Burrow continues on its way over the hills until at last Luis sees houses below. The children of El Torimento run to meet him. They're so excited. These books are exciting, aren't they? Luis insists on reading a story before they choose books to borrow. Today I have a surprise for you, he says. He reaches behind the books and pulls out a bundle of masks, little piglets. Put on a mask and I'll read you a tale about pigs. Hmm, different kind of mask than we're wearing right now. Might be fun if we had some pig masks, huh? Oh, what story do you think you're, he's gonna tell them if they're putting on pig masks? When the story ends, it's time for everyone to choose a book. The children hold their books close as they say goodbye and walk home. Louise and Beto head back over and around the hills, across the grasslands and streams and into the sunset. Looks like his wife's asleep and he's still reading. His burrows are exhausted. 
At home, Louise feeds his hungry burrows and Diana feeds her hungry husband. But then instead of sleeping, Louise picks up his book and reads deep into the night. And far away in the hills, candles and lanterns burn as the children read borrowed books deep into their night too. Okay, and this is a little quote they have at the end. People around here love stories. I'm trying to keep that spirit alive in my own way. Okay, boys and girls, remember we're making connections. Okay, the first connection that I personally thought of when I was reading this um, was how we had so many people donate money so you guys could get books. Okay, I thought that's really interesting that he traveled this far in his burrows to take children books and we had nice people that donated money so that you could have books. Um, I want you to think of a connection from this story that you have. Of course, that one you can use. Try to think of another one and go tell a mom or a brother or sister, dad, somebody, your cat, about the story that you just read and tell them about the connection you made. Okay, have a great day.